Is uh, Aaron vaccinated? I'm not going to get into any of our coaches or players' vaccination status. So are you and Brian notified today that Aaron had tested positive? Is that from a test from today or yesterday? Yeah, I'm not going to. All I can say is he's in the COVID-19 protocols. We're not, I mean, we don't say who tests positive or whatnot, and that's just, I mean, that's what the league wants. With Aaron, is it possible it could be beyond one game or it just is? We'll see. Or yeah, I, I, I really don't know. I just know that he won't be available this week. And then we've got a great opponent we're going against. And then we'll address next week when we get there. Is Aaron feeling sickness? Does he have symptoms at all? I, you know, I, I don't know. But are you confident that all the protocols have been followed so far this season in your building? In our building? Absolutely. I mean, I, I watch what these guys do. Um, you know, I can only speak to our football space, um, but yeah, absolutely. We got uh, you know, we got cameras everywhere. I know. Um, I think our guys do an outstanding job with it, and you know, it just it's unfortunate. And it's not like this thing can't happen to anybody. It, it's happened to a lot of people outside of this building. In that regard, are you kind of surprised at what's happened these last couple of weeks with everything, or because since y'all have followed everything the way that? Well, it's the time of the season, right? I think that uh, I know a lot of people around, even around Green Bay, that are, are going through this right now, um, both vaxxed and unvaxxed. And so it just is what it is. Matt, I know you're not going to get into the statuses of your players and coaches, but were you aware of his status, Aaron's status, before today? Yeah, I'm not going to get into anything. When did you become aware of the situation with Aaron? Was it right, you know, what we all did, or did you kind of know a little bit uh, pre the news uh, through Twitter and that? Yeah, I knew before Twitter knew. <laughs> hey, Matt, are you, uh, has the club received any bad feedback from the NFL about your protocols, close contacts, about anything that um, Aaron maybe not wearing a mask, being in close contact, violating protocol? Nothing. Nothing to this point, at least. Matt, I get your policy about not talking about vaccinations, but if he is unvaccinated, a lot of people are going to see that as being a selfish decision on his part, given what he means to your team. How, how do you see that? I think everybody has to make their own personal decision, and that's just what it is. Hey, Matt, so how does this play out for you today? How do you, or yesterday, when did you find out that he was going on the COVID-19 list, and when did you start the ball rolling on figuring out what you have to do to win this week? Uh, yeah, that happened about, I want to say, 8.30 or so, <laughs> right before we went into meetings. So, um, you know, it's just, it's like anything else. you you got to make adjustments, and it's no different than in a game when we're, we're playing Arizona and you're, you lose a guy like Bobby. you got to make adjustments. And so it's just, it, the way I look at it is it's another opportunity for somebody else to to showcase what they can do. I, I do think that our team will rally around Jordan and we'll give it our best effort. I, I have a lot of confidence in our process and, and how we operate around here in terms of just the guys putting in the work, the preparation to go down there and, and play our best football game against, against a really good opponent, against one of the best in the league. How concerned are you by the Halloween party that so many of your players attended last weekend? Yeah, I, I don't know who was there, where it was, anything about it. So. But that was eight, we said eight thirty. Eight thirty this morning is when you started. Correct. Right. Did you guys ever have a game plan in place in case something like this happened and you were without a future ball of game? Well, that's why everybody practices and comes to work on a daily basis. I mean, like. Prepare a young quarterback for this so suddenly. Uh, same way we've done it. Every other player in this in this. Uh, Organization. How many hours do you think you spent last week with Don Bonte and Allen and this week now with Aaron Evans to, to rework stuff that you would already put a plan in place for? Well, that's, that's you know, luckily we, we'll have a few extra days here um, to kind of go over everything and make sure we, we go through it like a, with a fine tooth comb and make sure that we're giving our guys the best opportunity to go out there and be successful. Have you spoken with Aaron since learning this morning and what was his reaction? I, I just briefly spoke to him. Well, players have only talked, spoken to us via Zoom over the course of the season. Obviously, Aaron has talked to us in person. I've never seen him with a mask. Has he skirted the rules at all during this? 
Yeah, I'm, again, you guys are trying to, in a roundabout way, trying to get me to answer whether or not a guy is vaccinated or unvaccinated, I I and I'm not gonna, I'm not going there. So, is, is Jordan handling both, or do you have someone else that's plugged in a scout team quarterback? Yeah, I might have to get loosened up and yeah. go out there. Were you really? No. Okay. <laughs> Did you? Deliver the news to the team that Aaron wouldn't be with you, or did, was Aaron able to, through video or anything, talk to the team about it? No, I talked to the team this morning. That was the first thing we brought up in the team meeting, and you, you know, you're always going to shoot the team straight and tell them what you expect moving forward. What was your pulse? You know, what was the pulse of the team? Obviously, there must have been some shock within the locker room. No. Yeah, I'm sure there was, but uh, you know, it's just like anything. You just gotta, uh, you gotta move on. You gotta, you gotta move forward. I should say, and you gotta embrace the opportunity. Every time these guys get an opportunity to go out and compete, you gotta embrace that, and you gotta prepare to the best of your ability. And I think that's the mindset, and I think that's been the mindset all along. Hey, Matt, uh, I know that you all specifically address Aaron's status, uh, but Aaron himself. In August, when he was asked about a vaccination status, he said, Oh, yeah, I've been immunized. Aaron, you said you'd like to learn as many things as you can and hang in any conversation. Are you vaccinated, and what's your stance on, on vaccinations? Yeah, I've been immunized. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of conversation around it, around the league, and a lot of guys who have made statements and not made statements, owners who made statements. Um, you know, there's guys on the team that haven't been vaccinated. Uh, I think it's a personal decision. I'm not going to judge those guys. Um, there's guys that have been vaccinated that contracted COVID. Um, so it's, it's an interesting issue that I think we're going to see played out the entire season. I'm not sure what they're going to do with, you know, the testing schedule. I know that talking to JC, the PA had talked about testing every single day for everybody. Uh, the league obviously, I think, shot that down or, or didn't want to do that. I don't know if that was financially incentivized or, or whatnot, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens if we can, uh, you know, if the, if the protocols change at some point. Um, it's obviously something that's that's moving. It's it's uh, you know the protocols and the, and the outline guidelines are kind of changing day to day. I think, it seems. Last one. Personal choice thing. About that, from a football perspective, you know, Kirk Cousins is talking about how he's like in a hermetically sealed box or something in the quarterback room. Um, the Patriots appear frustrated with Cam Newton because he hasn't. From a football and competitive standpoint, was that important to make sure that you're always, you know, that you're most likely going to be available? And I don't know, maybe even from an example setting standpoint. Sure. No, I mean, no, I don't. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't about that at all. I think. Um, you know, I, I like to learn about everything that I'm that I'm doing, and, and uh, you know, there was a lot of research that even went into that. But you know, there's been, like I said, there's been people that have that have tested positive. I think it's only vaccinated people here, so you know, it, it's it's going to be interesting to see how things things work uh, moving forward. Um, obviously. There could be some issues with you know, vaccinated people only testing every other couple of weeks and then non-vaccinated testing every day. Um, last year, I felt like, and I think I read something about this, it was more difficult maybe uh, to pull a guy out who might have tested positive on game day. I don't think that'll be the issue with somebody who's not vaccinated, but, um, you know, it is interesting to see how things are, are played out. I think there's been a lot of conversation around it and just in talking with JC I think this is going to continue to to evolve as we get into the season. Do you feel like a goal like that might be seen as misleading to the fans? It's a great question for Aaron. I'm not going to comment on it. Thank you guys. Thanks guys. Have a good one. We'll see you.